friends and welcome back to minecraft 1.20.4 lightly modded gameplay so i have promised one of my longtime viewers miss seraphim that there would be some adventure some excitement because they were like wow lots of building can we have some excitement we're gonna have some excitement seraphim we'll start with the minecraft high five in your face and we are going to look at something very interesting today so let's first get into our regular view let's uh see how we're looking here with stuff in our pocket we got some stuff we gotta gotta move i've got this empty barrel here and i think i'm just gonna use it as a dump barrel briefly here You know, actually, the water bucket we're going to take with us. Got some torches um, and a wither rose. We're going to uh, keep the sword because the iron hoe will just tuck aside for a moment. The iron, well, we do need a fresh axe. Let's uh, make sure we hold on to enough iron for an axe. And... We've got a little bit of food available to us. In fact, we'll do it that way. I got our cold golden carrots. Let's take a look in our backpack. What do we got in there? All right, so backup food, um, backup fishing rod. Let's just toss that in there. Oh, no. What are you doing? There we go. All right. Let's get this axe made. <laughs> Sounds like the fish are enjoying themselves. And I believe that that's pretty much a matter of there we go. If my movement is a little jerky today, I uh, injured my left hand. And so my WASD is not up to its usual standards. Anything in here I want to grab? Yes, our matching blue helmet. We will um, take the gold helmet with the aqua affinity with us. But we'll make sure our armor is matching here properly. And let's head on down. I want to get outside so that we're not under any kind of, you know, overhang. Now, so... I had mentioned that uh, off camera I had taken this branch of the river down like so and found our way out to the ocean and revealed all of this. Well, along the way I encountered a couple of interesting things that I really want to take a look at. And I also wouldn't be heartbroken to get myself um, some dark oak I think that that could be very good and the primary thing that we've got to deal with is the current time because it's one o'clock in the afternoon and if I take off now right about the time we get going I think we're gonna have some issues so let's make a little bit of preparation just to be darn sure that uh, we don't paint ourselves into, into a corner. There we go. Huh? 
I'm going to make sure I have materials for torches. Oop, forgot about those. Well, you know what? Here, I was thinking that I was low on coal, and it's quite the very opposite. I've got plenty of coal. Just want to make sure I have got torches. And with that, let's do this thing. We're going to come on down and get the boat because we're going to overland it on the first part of our journey. There we go. A little water in our armor never hurt. I might pave a little path, you know, do do a couple of paths so that uh, we can light them and everything. All right, so we're headed off in this direction. Love these shaders. All mods and shaders are in a list below the video description. Just double check your yes, it's the one to the right. I want to get where we're going before the sun sets. It's just a big old bay over there. You'll notice that we're starting to see some cavage along the banks here. All right. And that's where we're going is into a cave, but it looks like a very interesting cave. There's actually two of them and I'll have to decide which one to go into. Should be getting relatively close here. So we have this here. I want to hop out and take a look at what we've actually got. See, so it's going down into that and that over there, I believe there's actually another entrance into that part of the cave. I'm not seeing any exposed iron. We do have a lot of clay here, which we'll remember for the future. We're going to come up just a little bit farther. I should have brought some wood with me. But that is what I wanted to check out. down there so they're easily available to us get the boat up out of the way we won't need it I am gonna grab a bucket of water before we start exploring just in case we run into lava Wow
how much of that is underwater, I can't tell. So much clay. And me without a bow. So we must have waterfalls flowing over that. Oh, and look at the flowers on the ceiling. I didn't even see that. Um, this, we got uh, some of it in a chest and we've planted it with our fish. All right. Well, I need to satisfy my curiosity about a few things here. First of all, I want to know what that is. Why did that break so easily? What is that? Moss blocks. And flowering azalea, huh? Well, you know, I like these moss blocks. We're going to collect some of those before we go. I wanted to know what this plant was. And I'm very curious about this. Okay, there is something to pick up. Glowberries. I have no clue. Compostable is all it says. I'm sure they've got to go in potions. I wonder if I should have um, brought my shears with me. I know I'm being hesitant here, but all of this is unfamiliar. Okay. Not sure where he went. Wow, look at that down there. This is all new to me. For the first time in a very long time, I'm playing cautious Minecraft instead of being utterly reckless. There we go. Just wanted to get one there. Wow. How far down is that, and how hard is it going to be for me to get down there? Where are you, you pain in my butt? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how to proceed here. You'd think there's got to be some great minerals down there. I see some coal over there. Well, I guess we'll... That's what I was figuring is this is all undercut down there. Copper. Nice to have some light. Wow. My water parkouring skills are absolutely lacking.
Oh boy. that blocked off. Well, that certainly didn't help. Aqua Affinity. is getting complicated. Water there, huh? Trying to figure out where the flow is coming from. And I don't have any arrows. Ugh. I'm really ill prepared for this. Yeah, there's just so much water here. I'm going to have a devil of a time making my way down. Oh, that's water too. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I don't want that skelly to shoot me off of here. All right, made it back over. Looks like there may be another entrance to the cave over there. But as to where that might be, I don't know. Oh, okay, there's actually some overhead entrances. I may have to ride water down. Oh boy. May have made an error of judgment here. Just take the slow ride. All right, filled it in. I am sure that there's gonna be a lot of bad things waiting for me down here. Yeah. Wow, here they come. At least they're stuck in the water. This is insane. You wanted excitement. You got it. 
I have no idea what made that noise. Absolutely no clue what made that noise. We have glowing squids. <laughs> yeah, I've very little clue about my current situation. I'll tell you that much. Okay. It breaks, but I don't appear to be picking anything up. It must need a diamond pick, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's giving me XP, but... I have no clue what it is. We do have water going back up, but... Because I you know, splashed with my water bucket and then immediately picked it up and rode the stream down. There are blue f flashing things out there. She's got my curiosity actually absolutely running wild. Oh, got a spider over, stuck over there. Wow, I have absolutely no clue. Every bit of this is absolutely brand new to me. There you are. I don't see the blue flashes anymore. This is just insane. I can say even with mods, even with mods, I've never seen a cave interior like this. Oh, they're there. Okay. Oh, it appears to be the blocks that are doing that. Oh, there went my axe. I'm so used to Vintage Story where it just replaces the broken tool. <laughs> now we're not taking much damage. Yeah, we don't have any arrows, so I think we're going to do it this way. What are you?
Yeah, I don't know. I must just have the wrong tool to harvest it. The thing is, is... Wait, is that a little bit of redstone there? Yes, it is. Okay. Deep slate. Okay. Again, this is this is unfamiliar to me. Oh, even a brand new sound. I came for this a very ill prepared. One iron axe. We haven't even found any iron. I am absolutely unfamiliar with a huge amount of this stuff. And I'm not going to be able to dig down much further and then I'm going to have to conserve my pick. So I can find a way to get myself up out of here. But yeah, wow. Just kind of insane cave here. All absolutely brand new to me. I don't see that I'm headed into anything particularly good or interesting here. So I think, well, on one hand, absolutely fantastic to have gotten a look in this space. Um, I'm going to have to, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm going to have to do some research to learn about these new things. Um, you know, we don't have like uh, Wyla or anything like that that gives us identification of objects that haven't been harvested so like there's this deep slate apparently it can be made for the smithing templates you can make standard tools out of it and your this is polished deep slate oh okay that's a good looking stone and you can make brewing stands out of it Okay, so, interesting, I guess. But, yeah, my, my pick is almost kaput. And if I keep traveling like this, I was hoping to get, get down into something else, you know, maybe find some minerals, but I think... And I... I'm not going to be able to go much farther before I have to turn. Okay. Hmm. Don't know what that is. But whatever it is, I can't go any further. I need to get a mod like, uh, what am I looking at?
you need to find out what in the world those things are and whether they have any use. I wonder if there is... Is that claimable? No. All right. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is looking a little rough here. In terms of getting back up again. Ah, you butt. I'm in a spot. My shield's in good shape at the moment. where I can make a stand if I need to. Yeah, I do want some of the moss blocks. About time. All the iron we've gotten up to this point, we've gotten... By looting. Iron certainly feels like it's much more rare now. Yeah, I definitely went into that very unprepared. In fact, I'm not sure that this pick is going to hold. Let's, um, oh, I don't have any wood on me. I was going to say let's build a stone pick, but I don't have anything to build a stone pick. I don't have the wood for a crafting table. I really gotta stop. I'll happily take the clay. And happily tunnel through the clay just because, you know, it's gonna be something we don't have to use a tool for. Sounds like I got a creeper above me. Let's see if I can break this manually or not. Oh, wow. Let's see if it breaks. Oh. 
Oh, man. It's going to take me a thousand years if I've got to do this. eat yeah we are down to the very last of our iron pick and this stone certainly does not break like classic cobblestone or stone all right let's uh look in the backpack oh i've got a backup iron pick see this is this is why i I put the backups in there for just such an occasion. I was going, oh crap, what am I going to do now? Uh, Alright, let's just move some of these items up there. I am so glad that we have that. All the difference in the world. See some iron. We don't really need. We've got lots of gold. And that heads back down. Alright, I'm going to risk this. Very not good. Come on. Oh, ho, 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 man. That gave me a turn for a moment there. But we've got dirt, and that's a darn good sign. Usually, usually dirt is a good sign. It means you're near the surface. Probably going to come up in the bottom of the river or something. Okay, hold up. What what am I seeing here? Some sort of creature there. So lush caves, huh? Wow. Tremendous amount of underground activity. Look at that. Just tons of it. Uh, 
I'm going to put on my Aqua Affinity helmet. That was kind of spooky. Kind of spooky. Just swimming underwater and going to to break that stone and having it just take forever. Grab a little bit of copper. I don't think there's much that you can do with it, actually. I think you can make a lightning rod. I don't have to look into that, too. Because copper wasn't a thing. Copper was not a thing. I'm really surprised... We haven't hit the surface yet, though we were a long way down there. Deep enough to hit redstone. I think I'm moving, yeah, yeah, I'm moving away from the river, but I'm getting close enough to the surface that the river is starting to show. Yeah, before I come back to do anything... In this stuff, I'm going to have to have a diamond pick, that's for sure, which we've got the materials to make one. Going to have to make sure and just bring a bit of everything, you know? Uh, that's not an, an encouraging sound. Okay, just making sure I've got stones and water in case I pop some lava here sounds like it's off to the left so I'm going to start heading up this way oh I hear animals we got to be close Lava sound. I'm not digging that lava sound. Ah, oh, sunlight. Well then, that was definitely not the droid I was looking for.
Yeah. I go to try something like that again. I need to be much better prepared. Take this passage to the left. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, pumpkins. So we've got pumpkins going in our garden. Well, I got to tell you guys, I was not prepared for that. Not in any way, shape, or form. I thought it was, you know, just going to be a... Uh, a little chamber with a few glowing plants but this deep slate I'm not familiar with um, no idea what those glowing blocks were or what we have to use to harvest them maybe it's silk touch who knows oh, let me guess I'm on on the wrong way yep I'm headed the wrong way but there were a few minutes there that were a little bit harrowing being up on those high edges with all that lava below and knowing that they're skellies and then me without any arrows to really fight back. It's your dealio here. Oh, it's a little ways up yet. All right. We will go back. But first, I've got to do a little research to understand what it is I'm dealing with down there. It's nice having the dynamic lights mod. What are you doing down here, you jackass? Mm. Err yourself. But yeah, apparently that's really extensive. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. Apparently it is a very extensive underground cavern. Yeah, we traveled underground actually a fair distance. But along the bank there, there were a number of cave openings that all seemed to go into the same biome. Like I say, I've got to study what that biome is about, what we can make with the stuff that's in it. Because I'm completely unfamiliar. I guess I've seen pictures, you know, and... I guess somewhere in the back of my brain I knew such a biome existed, but you know, I don't know anything about it in terms of what makes it useful. go a little farther up the river yet.
See how the crops are doing. Oh, they're getting there. They're getting there. Now, back home by sundown. That was strange. Have to say that honestly, I'm unfamiliar with that biome and the things going on with it. There were some harrowing moments when I broke into that water cave and started swimming upwards, got to the top, saw that single block out. I knew if I could break out the block above it, we'd get an air pocket and I could catch a breath, but forgot to put on my aqua affinity helmet. And that was almost the end of it. We'd have, we'd have, I doubt, ever found our stuff. But wow. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about unpacking. I'm just going to call that an adventure. And I'll see you guys in the next one.